everybody, it's Michelle, and today I've got for you a full body mat Pilates workout using a yoga ball as our prop. So the yoga ball is a ton of fun. It can help simulate that kind of rolling action, similar to what you would get on a reformer. So it's a really fun way to change up your mat practice, and I think you're gonna really enjoy it. So let's get right to it. We're gonna start seated on your mat to get warmed up. Have your legs outstretched in front of you, just wide enough for the ball to fit between them. Flex your feet. If your knees need to be a little bit soft, it's all good. I want you to take a nice big breath in to prepare. As you exhale, you're gonna fold forward and roll the ball away from you until you find a nice comfortable fold over the legs. Now hold here as you take another breath in. And then on your exhale, reverse those walks to roll your spine back up tall. Good, and we do that again. Inhale to feel the length. Exhale to fold over your mat. Now maybe the ball goes a little further this time. Hold and breathe. And then exhale to return. Yes, we're getting a nice stretch through the hamstrings, through the spine. Good, and waking up our breath. So nice, you guys, couple more times. As we hold in this stretch, really focus your inhale to expand into the backs and the sides of your rib cage. Yes, we get the most full and best biggest breath we can. When we're in this rounded forward position, it makes it a little bit easier to feel. Yeah, so really find that opening into the back of the body. Oh, and then come on up. All right, now set the hands kind of centered on the ball, elbows are bent. As you inhale, you're gonna roll the ball away from you with one hand, twist and reach the opposite arm behind you, and then just return the hands to the ball. Other side, inhale, twist and reach. Exhale to return. Good, feel like you're spiraling up towards the ceiling, getting taller as you twist rather than slumping and getting shorter. Yeah, a couple more times. So we inhale to rotate, exhale to return. So good, couple more times. Leave the legs heavy on the ground. Really use that press of the arm and the obliques to help you deepen the twist. Feels so good, you guys. Ah, oh, feels so good on the spine. All right, now twist into your rotation and stay. Flip your back hand so the thumb is pointing to the floor and you're gonna flex forward and just allow the ball to roll towards the, your opposite foot. Stack your body up and flip the thumb to the ceiling and then return hands to the ball. Other side, so kind of like a saw movement. We're gonna rotate, internally rotate the arm and just pour your body over that one leg. Restack and then face to the front. Yeah, a couple more times. So whatever leg you're facing, that's the foot that the ball is gonna roll closer to. Restack and then return. So good. So having the ball there is kind of a nice support. Yes, we get a little bit of assistance to hold our body over the leg. Good, it's also kind of a good measure to see how far you're flexing forward. Yes, if the ball goes further, it means we're getting a bigger stretch. So good, you guys. Let's do one more time. Oh, awesome. All right, so now that we're a little more warmed up and ready to go, we're gonna switch so that the ball is behind us. So we're gonna sit down with our feet flat and knees bent, and you wanna get pretty close to the ball and kind of wrap your whole spine around it. So I'm gonna lay even my head back on the ball, and then all the way down to my tailbone is kind of wrapping around the curvature. All right, so now hopefully that's comfortable to just relax your head back onto the ball. Your neck shouldn't have to be working and it feels pretty great, okay? If that's uncomfortable for any reason, you can roll down a little bit so your tail isn't touching the ball, okay? So you kind of adjust till that feels right to you. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling and we're just gonna start with some nice big arm circles. So we're gonna inhale as the arms fall behind us Exhale as they circle down towards the floor. Good. 
Now, having our spine in this nice extended position really gives us a big range of motion through the shoulder. So kind of feel that out. Ooh, and you'll feel a really nice stretch through the pecs and the chest. Ooh, and then it's nice to just be in this supported extension for our spine. So really delightful, especially when we spend so much of our day hunched forward. This is really good to counteract that. Now let's just reverse the circle and go the other way. Circle around and then forward. That's it. See if with each repetition, you can find a slightly larger circle. Good, really feel the shoulder blades gliding along the ball. Very good. All right, now let's go into a scissoring action of the arm. So I want you to split one arm down, pinky finger towards the floor, other arm goes back, and then the arms pass by each other to switch. Good, so you can think of inhaling as the hands pass each other, Exhale as you find the split of the arm. So start nice and slow. Inhale and exhale. Good. Arriving at those two endpoints at the very same time. That's it. Now our rib cage is a little bit expanded. Make sure you feel a little bit of connection to the abdominals though, even though we're in this open position. All right, now let's add a little double pulse to this scissor. So as we exhale, we do two little pumps of the arms and then come back to switch and return. Good, so that little pumping action makes it super challenging to not lose our stability here, yes? Yeah? So you don't wanna feel the ball suddenly bouncing around. Keep it really contained and just into the shoulders. Good, let's do two more sets here, trying not to bounce. Good, last time. Very nice. Now set both of your pinky fingers on the floor, palms facing in, and just do some double arm raises here. So inhale, allow the arms to reach up and back. Exhale to lower. Good, now the rib cage is a little bit open. Try not to let it flare apart anymore. Keep a little connection through the abdominals to kind of contain the rib cage. All right, now we're gonna start involving the legs. Okay, this is a little bit tricky, but also a lot of fun. So wider feet is gonna be a little bit more stable here. So now, as my arms float up, I'm gonna push off of my feet, my tail comes away from the floor, and I extend back over the ball, and then reverse to come back down. Very good. Move slowly so you always know where your weight is, reaching behind, and then lower down. So good, you guys. It's almost like an assisted bridge because we're getting that nice inversion. So good. If you're not comfortable taking your hips off the floor, no big deal. You just continue with the arm movement. Try to keep your toes suction cup to the floor. That will help keep you a little bit more stable. Let's do two more here. Ah, last one. Ooh, very good. All right, now if that was hard enough, repeat that. If you're ready for a little bit of extra challenge, we are gonna add some rotation and kind of a circular movement to this, okay? So this time we're gonna start with our shoulders up off of the ball, so just our low back is on. Arms are gonna reach away. So both arms are gonna circle in the same direction. Let's go clockwise for this first time around. So left to right, okay? So reach the arms out. As I roll back, I'm gonna start to circle my arms just slightly to the left of center. Now I lay back over the ball in the middle, just like we did. On the way back down, my arms circle around to the right and my shoulder blades come off the ball. Let's do this again. Circle from left, pass through center, come down to the right. Now take this as slow as you need to. Reach up and around. Now it's not our low back, it's just from our rib cage and our shoulder blades up. So that's how we're able to stay centered is our tailbone doesn't move away from the midline of the ball. So good, you guys. One more time, feels so good on the spine. Now let's go ahead and reverse. If you're wearing kind of a loose baggy t-shirt, just fair warning, this might be a little bit tricky. Sometimes the t-shirt kind of gets stuck on the ball. So just know that if you're having trouble, kind of a tighter 
something fitted top will sometimes be a little bit easier on these, okay? All right, let's do two more. Big reach around. Now make sure the knees aren't going side to side. They stay centered. Awesome, you guys. All right, come on up. Kick your legs out in front of you and just come away from the ball for a little bit of a stretch. Kind of hang your head down oh, and adjust from being in that backwards position. All right. Well, that was pretty fun, right? Okay, so now the fun is gonna continue. We're gonna come up to our knees, knees hip width apart, hands on the ball. Inhale to prepare. Now as you exhale, you're just gonna drop your elbows to the ball, hinge at your hips, and then come back up. So set the forearms down, and then return. Inhale and exhale. Good, try not to stretch out the abdominals. Feel the ribs drawing down and in. So good. So we're allowing our tailbone to stay back a little bit so that we're kind of splitting the weight between our arms and our legs. Yes, we're gonna start to feel those triceps working here pretty quickly. Good, let's do this one more time. All right, next level of challenge, if you're ready for it, is to bring the pelvis with us and keep the hip joint open. So let's give it a try. As I put my forearms on the ball, I let my pelvis rock with me, and then we return. Whoo, tons more work for the abs and the glutes. Rock and then in. Now if having the hips fully open is too intense today, you're welcome to find kind of a happy medium and have a slight flexion in the hips. Yes, it's all good. As long as you're feeling your muscles working, that's good. And then you can work up to these more challenging variations. Okay, let's do a couple more. Whew, you can almost use a little bit of like a bounce and roll off of your elbows. Three, Whew, last two. Whew. Now on your last one, I want you to leave your elbows on the ball with your hips as open as you can and just saw the ball forward and back opening and closing underneath the shoulder and try not to move your lower body. You have the option if things get too challenging, you can always sit your hips back and continue with the arms, okay? Throughout this whole series we're gonna do. Let's do four more. Three, long neck, don't droop the head like I am too. Last one, now you're gonna roll the ball in and pop back up to your hands. Good stuff. All right, next, instead of a sawing action, we're gonna do a circular action, which is super fun and super challenging on the shoulders. So let's give it a try. Rock down to your elbows like we did with your most open hip joints. Now, I like to interlace my fingers and turn my hands into one big fist. Now, take your ball and circle it around, whatever direction you like, because we'll do both ways. Now, your ball might kind of go wonky or get off center. You can fix it if you need to. Whew, if it's too challenging, sit your hips back. Let's do three more. Whew, two, so good, you guys. Last one. Now pause in the center, separate your hands, and push back up to the top. Okay, take a break for a second, and we'll go in the opposite direction. So here we go, roll back to your forearms, make your hands into one big fist, and then start your circle. Now try not to move your spine or your legs. Those are fixed, and it's the ball and the arms moving around us. Four, make the biggest circle you can. Three, the further out your elbows go, the better. Two, one, separate your hands and push back up. Next, you're gonna come back down to your elbows. Allow your hips to sit back this time. So it's almost like we're on all fours. We're just on our elbows on the ball instead of hands on the floor. Now, if they're not already, tuck your toes under so the balls of the feet are trying to be on the mat, okay? Wider knees is a little easier here. Now, try not to let the ball move, and I just want you to tap one foot back behind you and then bring it back in. Good, if you feel like you need to grip the ball with your hands or even interlace your fingers like we did before, all good options, okay? Now you might have to rock side to side very slightly, but try to keep it to a minimum, 
Okay, so I just want you to kind of test out what this feels like to lose one of our bases of support. Yes, now draw the abs up and in, rib cage connected. All right, you guys, so now pause with one leg back. Take a breath in to feel that length through your spine. Push the ball away from you with your elbows, like you're trying to poke holes in it with your elbow joint. Now all I want you to do is hover your bottom knee off of the ground, hold it for an instant, and then come back down. That was fun, right? So dig your elbows into the ball, abs lift, kind of take the weight out of your knee so it can hover and then touch back down. Very good, you guys, keeping your long neutral spine. Hover and lift, and then replace back down. Awesome, do that a few more times. Hover, so good. Whew, the higher your hips go, the easier it is. I know that sounds weird. So if you're struggling, lift your hips a little bit higher and your legs can carry more of the weight. All right, time to add on. Hover up and stay. Saw the ball forward and back holding this position, which is so hard, I know. Let's do four more. Three, two, bring the ball in and set your knee down. All right, okay, that's all. Let's do that on the other side, short and sweet. So reach your new leg back, widen your scapula and draw the ribs up. That is really the secret, yes? If your ribs are sagging into the ball, you're gonna be toast. So really widen the shoulder blades. As you exhale, try not to let the ball move and just find your float. And then softly as you can, replace back down, okay? We don't wanna go thumping that knee to the floor. Ribs up, slight hover, and then replace down. So good, you guys. Let's do a couple more. You wanna come off and on to the ground as smoothly as possible. All right, next one, let's hold up and stay and just saw forward and back. Four, three, two, one, and then relax. Wow, awesome job, you guys. Okay, next we're gonna work on the sides of our body a little bit, so kind of our outer and our inner thighs, which is always a lot of fun. And the ball is really nice here, it's gonna be a nice kind of support for us to lean over onto. So have it next to one hip. You're gonna lean yourself over so your body's kind of on a diagonal and then it's up to you. If you can comfortably reach the floor, that's great. I kind of like to do like elbow on the ball, both hands grabbing it. So you decide what works for you, but your whole body is on this nice diagonal angle. Now reach your top leg out, tap your toes to your mat, and find your neck in alignment with your spine. Feel like you're pushing the ball away from you with your arms, and you're just gonna take some nice little leg lifts. So super simple, lift and lower, up and down. That's it, so it's kind of an in-between of like laying flat on the ground or being up kneeling, supporting ourselves all on our own. So this is kind of a nice happy medium, being able to use the ball. Good, feel connected under this bottom side armpit. Now let's add two little taps at the bottom. One, two, lift. Tap, tap, lift. Good, you guys. So you don't wanna feel the ball moving under you or bouncing too much with the bounce of this leg. Yeah, so keep that pulsing action nice and tight and contained. Now you're gonna pause with your leg up and do little circles as high off the ground as you can. Now this is an easy one for the ball to wanna go rolling front to back to kind of counterbalance the leg, but don't let it. Reverse. Good, tiny spiral in the hip, four, three, two, one, and then place the foot down. Whew. Okay, last thing here for our outer thigh, we're gonna do a little side kick, two pulses to the front, one long brush to the back. So lift your leg up off the floor, flex your foot and kick forward two times. One, ooh, that's tricky. Two, now point the foot and brush your leg as far back behind you as you can. Do that again, double kick, one, two, and then press and reach. See if you can keep your leg kind of the same height, 
the whole time. That would be the goal, which is not easy. So now that we're taking the leg off of center, this gets way, way harder to not move the ball. Let's do two more times. So good, shoulder down, last one, pump, pump. Reach back and then set the foot down. Whew. Okay, you guys, now we're gonna work the inner thighs a little bit more. So same grip on the ball. Put your whole sole of the foot down. So my toes point forward, even my pinky toe is on the floor. Now take a breath in. As you exhale, your bottom shin is gonna come away from the floor until your knees are totally squozen together. And then you're gonna softly place it back down. And then do that again. Lift and squeeze. Feel that connection of both legs and then set it down. Good, couple more times, lift. Try to pause and hold it for a second before you release. Awesome job, you guys. Let's do two more here. If you feel like you're rolling down off your ball, just adjust and scoot back up a little bit. Now pause with the leg off the mat and do little tiny pumps. Up, 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 four, three, Two, now pause with your knees together and breathe and just hold it. Five, four, three, don't let the knees come apart. Two, one, and then relax. Whew. All right, take this bottom arm, reach the hand to the floor, and then take the other arm over into a side bend. Oh, so nice. All right, you guys, come up. Do that on the other side. Okay, so new hip onto the ball. Lean over and find your diagonal. Elbow and hand on, and then tap the top leg away. Okay, drive the shoulders down, and then start lifting and lowering. Very good, so kind of settling in onto this new side. You wanna be as parallel with this top leg as possible. That's gonna give us the best work for the muscles we want to work, which is this top outer thigh. Okay, now double pulses, one, two, lift, tapping twice, down, down, up, touch, touch, lift, good, try not to feel that bounce going into the ball, one, two, lift, down, down, up, okay, three more times, two, now keep the leg up and we draw small, tight, contained circles. Good, keep your big full breaths going. Even when the going gets tough, try to keep your breath nice and steady. Now reverse and go the other direction. Good, don't allow that ball to move. Three, two, one, and then rest the leg down. All right, next we're gonna go into our side kick. So, so where things get a little bit more tricky, float the leg up as high as you comfortably can, flex the ankle, and do two little kicks forward. One, kick even further, two, and then brush behind you. So you can make these as big as you want, as long as the ball isn't rolling out from underneath you. One, two, and then push away. Good, couple more times, swing, swing, and then brush back. Awesome, couple more, one, two, and then back. Good, last time, kick, kick, and brush away. Whew. Amazing. All right, inner thigh time. So place that whole foot down, pinky toe included. Inhale to get ready. Exhale, connect the knees together. So from inseam to kneecaps, that whole line is finding each other. And then lower down, exhale. Yes, the more pressure you put into the hands, the more those shoulders can support you. Exhale. Yes, both inner thighs are working here. That's the magic of this exercise. We get that nice, even work for both legs. All right, you guys, let's do two more, and then we'll pulse. Okay, hold up and stay. Keep the knee off the ground. Little tiny reps, open and close. Four, three, two. Now keep the knees together and pause. Don't move for five, four. So good. Three, squeeze even tighter. Two, one, and then relax. Whew. All right. 
Bottom hand to the floor, top arm reaches over, and stretch it out. Okay, amazing. All right, we're gonna finish out working some abdominals. So let's lay back on our backs. You're gonna send your feet up to the ceiling, imprint your spine so you have a lot of connection through the abdominals. And then we're basically just gonna pin the ball between our ankles and our hands, okay? So you have to keep a little bit of connection in order for the ball just to not fall down on you, right? So if that's uncomfortable to have your legs all the way straight, then just bend them a little bit, okay? Hands are side by side, ankles side by side, everything nice and connected to the ball. So now, all I want you to do is remove one hand and reach it behind you whew, without losing the ball, and then come back. Other hand, reach, and then come back. Yes, this is a lot of work for the front of the legs, the hip flexors, the abdominals. So bend the knees if you need to. Let's do one more time with each arm. Whew. Okay, now let's try the legs. So we drop one leg, no shifting of the ball, and then come back up, other side. So you wanna be, re be real secure in your grip before you take the limb away. And then return. Good, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Nice, feel the ribs drawing in and down. Okay, if you need a break, you take it. Next thing we're gonna add on is opposite arm as leg, go away at the same time, and then return. So we go from four points on the ball to two points, and lift. Exhale. And then up, so good. Try not to let those ribs get peeled off the floor. Amazing, you guys, few more. Head stays down, just focusing on the rest of the body for two. <sighs> Last one. Whew. Okay, grab the ball and bring your legs down for a second. Wow, not easy stuff. Okay, this ball is a lot heavier when we're the one holding it up off the ground. So next, I want you to move your hands to either side of the ball. Okay, so the arms are gonna be what's holding the ball all by themselves. The legs reach back up to the ceiling, but they're not touching the ball. So next, we let the arms take the ball over our head and then return it, okay? But everything else is the same. Our spine is still imprinted. Whew. So now we're taking the weight of the ball up and over, carrying that from the abdominals. Very good. Okay, if this is hard enough, stick here, or when the arms go back, the legs are gonna drop forward and then back together. How low is up to you? As low as you can go without popping your spine off the floor. Open and close. Three more. And close. Two more. Good. Now on your last one, just set the ball down behind you and lightly place the feet on the floor. Oh my goodness, good job. Okay, our grand finale. We're gonna separate the feet a little wider than hip width apart, flex the ankles, and now we're gonna do a roll up holding the ball. If that's not happening, do it without the ball. So we're gonna be really connected to our shoulders. I want you to inhale and reach the ball to the ceiling. Now as you exhale, you're gonna fold your spine off of the floor, reach over the legs, arms level with the ground, and then we reverse that. Roll down, carrying the weight of the ball, and then return. So good, you guys. So four movements. One, we lead with the arms. Two, we round up and over the legs. Three, we reverse, and then four, we lay back and down. That's it, you guys, up and then over. So those shoulders have to really stay strong here. Release, and then back. All right, let's do two more times. Nodding the chin. So good, you guys. On our next one, once we get up and over the legs, make sure the feet are wide enough to just set the ball on the floor. Round forward and just stretch over the legs. Good, take a breath or two here. Really expanding back into the rib cage, just like we did in our warm up. All right.
right, you guys. And with that, we are all done. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Pilates mat workout with the yoga ball. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment if you have any feedback or requests for future videos. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, turn on your notifications, and please share this video with a friend. And I'll see you next time. Bye.